Okay, so I just left Sailaway and I came back to the cabin. So before I am packing everything, I'm going to give you a quick little room tour. This is the door where we enter. On the door, there's a sign here for deep sleep. So you can put this on the other side of the door if you're sleeping in. It looks like there's deep sleep on both sides. So both sides say deep sleep, I guess is whatever you prefer. You don't have to put your key card in to operate the lights. So just turn on or off. I am in cabin 2198, and this is on the very front of the ship. There's only one cabin on that side of me in front of the ship. So this is the entire room. We have a couple of cabinets, and this first one opens up. They have a robe that's already here. I like when I'm able to get a fresh robe from uh, the room store, but there's plenty of space here. And the other side of the cabinet, a space with hangers, you can hang your clothes. And then there are little shelves down here as well. Next, we come to the bathroom door. So here is the bathroom. A couple of shelves there for space. You got your basin. And this is, oops, I turned off the light by mistake. So you have your restroom, your toilet there, and your shower right here with the glass door, which I love. Let's see, that opens up. It looks like you've got a shower head there. They have your uh, your shampoo, shower gel, and conditioner. Some hooks there for hanging your clothes. Now I like this touch. I love the glass cabinets here. So there's uh, two glass cabinets with two shelves. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet. Well, right here, the first shelf has your safe, and then there's upper storage here. And over here for now, I brought on my, in my carry-on, I had my wine. Now guys, if you didn't know on Celebrity, you are allowed to bring two bottles of wine. So I brought two bottles of wine, the other is in the, the fridge. And then there is water. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll let you know later, I think this water is free. There is a bar. So here in the refrigerator, they have a mini bar. You open this up. So there's a mini bar with soda and there's a kind bar. Uh, now that big bottle of Prosecco, that's mine. And the, and the, uh, the pineapple juice, that's mine. But there's a couple of bottles of wine, some Heineken, and a couple, a few bottles of Tito's. Now that's your stock mini bar, but that is not free. That comes at a cost. So it does come with a stock mini bar, but just be mindful that there is a charge for it. And then we have three, let me see, yeah, four drawers for our storage. It's four drawers, a little countertop, and then of course the menu for room service. With room service, it does say that in the mornings, like the breakfast, the continental breakfast is complimentary, but uh, the, there's a premium breakfast and there's lunch and other items throughout the day. That, and those have a delivery fee of $9.95. Next, we have our outlets. There's one outlet and a couple of USB chargers. There's a hair dryer and a couple more drawers down here as well. You have your desk uh, with chair looks like this. This is a table. This is a table that you can pull out. Uh, I guess that would be great for room service as well as a little tabletop. And you have your large mirror here. And on the other side, now this is a room with a connecting door. I've stayed in rooms with connecting doors before with no problem. So I don't even expect to have a problem now. And we have a chair. Of course, there's a double bed. Okay, a nightstand and lamp. Of course, more, a little bit more storage over here with a drawer and a couple of shelves down here. And on this side, another nightstand with a single drawer, a couple of shelves, your phone, and there's a lamp over here, as well as an outlet and a couple of USB chargers. And then I see a light switch over here as well, but then there's this dial in I'm not sure what this dial is for, if this is temperature control or is it supposed to control something else? I can't tell. And on the other side, now here is the television. So this is an ocean view, ocean view cabin 2198, 
very front of the ship. Like I said, there's only one cabin to the left of me over here. I like forward facing cabins. I, I actually enjoy the movement of the ship. So the more forward, the better for me. All in all, I think this is a pretty nice cabin. We'll see how I like it over the next four days.